to find selling price so when cost price and gain or loss percents are given instead of all the values either gain percentage or loss percentage given and cost price are given we have to find out selling price directly so let us see this question first then i'll give the two formulas based on this banu bought a fountain pen for rupees 12 he bought so he purchased there is a cost price for how much should she sell it to gain 15% so gain percentage is 15 we have to find out the selling price okay banu bought a fountain pen for rupees 12 right mm. so in this first let us see the given data given selling price we supposed to find out that means cost price is given cost price is rupees 12 for how much should she sell it to gain 15 percentage so gain percentage gain percentage is 15 15 percentage we are supposed to find out the selling price right so i'll give the two formulas here when it is loss or gain to find out selling price when cp and gain or loss percentage are given so selling price 100 plus if it is gain plus you can take so gain percentage by 100 into cost price this is when it is gain percents are given 100 plus gain percent by 100 into cp same way selling price is equals to 100 minus loss percentage if it is loss minus by 100 into cp cost price so depending on this cost price selling price will be if it is profit no value should be increase that's why 100 plus cost price is given if it is loss selling price must be reduced so 100 minus okay so these two formulas will apply account that here is cp and gain percents are given gain percentage so first formula so selling price is equals to 100 my 100 plus gain percentage by 100 into cp substitute the values that is 100 plus gain percentage is 15 not gain gain percentage is it is right by 100 into cost price is 12 so 115 by 100 into 12 you just to calculate you get the answer 115 by 100 into 12 so 5 table to 0 23 again 4 table 4 times 3 4 5 23 into 3 So nine sixty nine by five. That is thirteen point eight. So thirteen point eight zero. Selling price is thirteen rupees eighty paisa. That means by purchasing twelve rupees, if you want fifteen percent profit, we supposed to sell this. So thirteen rupee eighty paisa. So twelve rupees is purchased. Thirteen point eight zero. If you sell, we'll get fifteen percent profit. So to get directly, we'll use these two formulas. And if it is loss, see one sum. This is the loss. An article bought for four fifty. Bought right. So cost price is rupees four fifty. Is sold at loss of twenty percent. So loss percentage is equals to twenty. So twenty percent is a loss. Then find its selling price. So because of uh, Loss it is no hundred minus. Remember the formula is easy. Hundred minus loss percentage by hundred into CP. So depending on the cost price, selling price should be increase or decrease. If it is gain plus loss is minus. Remember. Now in this hundred minus loss percentage is twenty by hundred into cost price is four fifty. Yes, you can calculate. So eighty by hundred times. Four fifty zero zero cancel and eight into forty five. You get this. So just only all together you can make and to find the values. More we can hundred minus twenty. Yeah, that much answer. Then they are asking selling price. So cost price is given. Selling price only you have to find out. Direct method you can take. So eight forty five eight zero three sixty you can take. No need of taking other method. Just alternate method. That formula only will apply. Selling price to find out 
it is a gain percentage or loss percentage you can use this right this is for the loss you can apply and previous one you know, this is for the gain you can apply yes. same formulas so these two you can apply to uh, in this concept to find out selling price when cost price and gain or loss price are given same way reverse you will do now when it is a cost price you have to find out when sp and gain or loss are given 